Hey there, everyone. This is Alcal playing a TSRPRR, and um, well, I suppose that we're actually continuing with this this time. Uh, where's big snow? A big sign with a big one is printed nearby, but that's not where we are going. This little red spot here, Monty Monument, because if there's one thing farmers are known to is to make monuments toward the pests that are eating their crops. This is always what I do always, also mess up diagonal jumps. One thing this hack does that not a lot of hacks does is actually reuse its music, but you know, like in the... Um, in a naturalistic way, which is not the truth at all, it's not at all the correct word to use, but, you know, just, you know, certain levels have certain themes of songs. Yes, that's well said, certain levels have certain themes of songs. Uh, what I really am trying to say here, though, is that it also does a good, like, okay, there's some hacks out there that, you know, will use certain songs for certain themes, which is all nice and good. Something that Mario World was really good at, and it's something not a lot of people realize, that if you play, um, the game in a linear order, you do not ever get two stages with the exact same song back-to-back. Uh, -back. Maybe as part of it, but not as the main theme of the level and it's a thing that a lot of hacks that feature you know uh, basically level themed uh, music don't seem to gap so you know in some hacks you just end up getting like uh, a whole game well what am I talking about a whole world where every single level has the exact same song that's and gets tiresome after a while and it's kind of what you want to you want to like music it doesn't seem like it, but this has a fairly important effect on the enjoyment of the games for some reason. Uh, it's just, you know, accounts to the power of audio, but not the visual. And, you know, that's all fine and good and dandy. Uh, and also, it's true. I'm not sure where I'm going with that anymore. This is a pyramid. This is supposed to be a monument for the moles. Why did the cactus all invade? Like, big ol' nasty invasions. Also, I am destroying this place's secret animal. It's pretty great. Just stomping on their head all day and all night while they're bursting through brick itself. They have fairly sharp noses and claws that they use to make holes and be giant pests about things. It's pretty swell-tastic. Here again. Oh wait, that doesn't make a whole lot of sense now, does it? There's a place where you gotta go down and on beneath the un underworld. Maybe it's over under this slope then. Like, maybe I just went down the wrong road. That's what happened, because there's a hole just for that block that exists. Such a nice and convenient, although I kind of find neat how there's like, there's a reason for those blocks to be there. They're kind of affixed to the wall in a certain situation. And now it's it's the little touches that make the large toasters. And I, I don't mean the toast, you know, as fried bread. No, I mean that as, you know, when you lower upper your cup and you go high. How's it going? That's the best kind of toast. And if you get the secret exit, you skip out on one level. Thing is, you skip out on a level that has a Switch Palace. So I don't know if it's that big of a good deal. <laughs> Guma Playground has a giant flower field involved and also a Yoshi for some reason. Well, I suppose it well was a word. Whoops, well there goes Yoshi and there goes the 1-Up. Um, Okay, well, the one-up didn't go, but it went to go in my heart. Uh, I think this is like, as y'all know, this is a remix of the second reality project, but I think this is one of the levels that are actually kind of a remix of different stages. The game isn't a perfect stage-by-stage -stage thing, it kind of sometimes takes bits and pieces of other stages in its own game for reasons unknown. Well, probably because of the more thematic sense, I guess. But that seems prying crazy. And you know what I say about prying? Leave that away from my dog that I don't have. 
I'm a cat person, that pipe doesn't know what really was happening, but that's okay, it's just a pipe, it doesn't really know a whole lot about anything. It's not like a, you know, like a skeleton, though. those are pretty powerful computers with pipes, so come on. Come on, there wasn't even ever any residue of anything resembling a brain there, so... Secret exit, you go over here. Which is, I think, kinda clever. You know, you get blasted from a pipe, you wanna keep going in the go? Well, not anymore. The plants is downstairs and pretty hungry. And there's a fireball in World 2. It's, that's a good place for them. Oh no, I got killed by an amber. And by kill, I mean I got slightly inconvenienced. Truly, this is worth writing poetry about. But the switch will help me on my way because... I think it's used as legit cape dispenser here and there. I've always wondered why Nintendo gave up on the idea of blocks giving power after giving up after it happening twice. <laughs> a visual cue of how your breath looks like when it's been expelled at high velocity from your brain, but maybe not. Uh, you should just absorb the mushroom, that could have been him. Actually, now that I think about it, that's pretty weird. Does that mean that Yoshi are actually, like, mushroom-based life forms? They're like fungal growths? Uh, I suppose that would explain a lot. At the same time, it doesn't explain enough. Oh, I didn't get a one-up from this excursion. Truly, I am a failure amongst my peers. But look at this giant, huge field of flower in the background! It's huge and fairly big. You could say, it is quite imposing. Just riding my thing along with a bit of enemy spam here. Most of the enemies don't do much, but I suppose that's okay. Where are the dragon coins that I didn't find? Um, that's weird. I I want to find them. I said I'd make this a dragon coin run. I'm gonna make it a dragon coin run. Um, well, I just went through a second time a lot more thoroughly. I didn't find them anywhere. Is this one of those games where levels will randomly not have all five? Because if that's the case, I'm I'm gonna cut close to that dream, like, right away. I'm not gonna waste more time with the dragon coin thing, then. Oh yeah, this level. Trying to find a uh, solution for the whole, you kind of move weirdly when you're standing on layer two. Uh, it's one of the most creative ones, and the speed is actually pretty well set, because it does seem to be going at the right speed, which is pretty impressive, I think. Uh, with that said, uh, that is true. With that said, also, it, you can kind of tell that this used um, uh, Donut uh, Plains 2 as a base. Well, just because, you know, it's like, it's the first real cave level, and oh man, it's it's auto-scrolling with Layer 2 involved, it's, uh... The game isn't super subtle about that. And again, it kind of makes its status as King Lear of Hacks, sometimes a bit strange. So the background here is weird, because it's floating ice, and a giant key that has a lot of buoyancy, even though it's probably made of metal. I don't think gold is very buoyant, is it? Not gonna lie, like, it's not something I actually know. All these fish, though, they find peace and harmony underneath the space glacier. Level in the water? Hell no. Never in all my dreams have I ever imagined such a thing to be possible within the fictional escapade realm of video games. You know, if we, uh, let ourselves delve into that world, where will we end up next? Where will we end up forward? And what is inside a car that makes people willing to completely destroy their friends and family in the purposeful act of arsony at 3 o'clock in the morning in order to, well, find another one up in 
order to uh, drink the tongue around the delicious taste of the Clown Night Bar. I don't know, Mr. Plant. Even though you're not the one that asked, I'm still gonna go ahead and defect to you just in case as a response. This is a level where you jump over bats that are placed kind of equidistant to one another. Uh, <laughs> and you're always kind of doing the same motion. It's, it's pretty swell. This place is kind of scary. I didn't remember this part at all. Spikes that also just kind of do the same motion five times in a row. Oh man. Just defense has never been so romance. That was a weird sentence to utter about oh, cow. Why'd you do it? Why must you do it? Spike Top, he has a. Has a funky walking animation. He's like squishles around. He pushes himself with the mighty strength of his forelegs. Ah, this is yeah. This part was lifted from another stage. That one, I am certain. I am full of certainamium, a very r rare stone that is found only on Mars. So. As you can imagine, there's not a lot of jewelry made out of it. Unfortunately, it is a required uh, whoa, a material in order to construct Swiss cheese. Um, basically, they managed to make do with a fragment of Mars that has detached in uh, 1048, except they're kind of starting to slowly run out. They're just trying not to make a big deal out of it so that the public conscience doesn't go all panic mode turkey, but one day, you know, the other foot is gonna drop and it's gonna find out that someone stole a shoe. I'm not gonna be around when that happens. And you can believe me, uh, probably none of you either, but it's our future generations that are going to suffer. Next time, more billion levels that have two exits on them, it's great. See you guys.